there is something strange going on. Very mysterious, so dangerous going on. Feels so real, but so unreal. It's hard to define, but it sends shivers, shivers up your spine. It's like a blessing, but in fact, it's a curse. It's a curse, because this blessing is by force from a strong force. Rush up the wind from the sea This is unbelievable. So you are not the procurement manager of Rollins Holdings. Just like that. Man, this is, this, is this is unbelievable. Luck is really shining on you. You know what? We just have to celebrate. You're absolutely right. I mean, to me, it's a shocker. I'm shocked. I can't believe I just got promoted just like that. As a matter of fact, we need to go somewhere and celebrate. We need to sit down and digest. That girl. I keep seeing that girl. She strikes me like I've met her before, but... She looks very familiar. Have I met her before? I don't know, but why do I keep seeing her all the time? Let's go, let's go. All right, it's your day. We just have to celebrate. Yes. There is something strange going on. Going on. Going on. Mm -hmm. Very mysterious. This guy, um, Shion Afolabi, is the right person for this position. How did you do it? I mean, the last time I checked, you weren't in the good books of the ND. I still haven't gotten over the shock of this promotion. I mean, trust me, it is going to be chaotic. It will cause a lot of hatred, most especially from Shewa. <laughs> Can you hear yourself? Come on, it's a lock. Enjoy it. You didn't bribe or push for it. So, God bless you with it. Do you think I should talk to Shimon about this? I mean, let him know it wasn't my idea. For clarity's sakes. Um, if you ask me, I... I would say that won't be necessary. Come on, man. God has remembered you. 
Okay, <laughs> you don't have to bother yourself. Seriously. So all you need to do is just to enjoy your position and be good. Okay, so stop disturbing yourself. What's wrong with you? There is something strange going on. So dangerous. The house is a beautiful house, but I don't understand. Why did you bring me here to see it? Um, he said I should bring you here. This is your new apartment, and this are the. Wait, wait, wait. The MD asked you to give me these keys, telling me this is my new apartment. As what? Your new apartment from the company, sir. This house is big. This house is beautiful. This house is too huge for me. The, the house belongs to me now. <laughs> no, you're kidding me. I'm not. Wait, wait, go out. No, how? Tell me. There is something strange. Going on. There's something you're hiding from me, right? No, this is crazy. So dangerous. So dangerous. Go on. There is something strange. Going on. Mysterious, so dangerous, going on. Feel so real, but so unreal. It's hard to define, but it sends shivers, shivers up your spine. It's like a blessing. But in fact, it's a curse, it's a curse, because this blessing is by force, from a strong force. She's the rush of the wind from the sea. There is nothing that you can do She says, she says that you're the one There's no place to hide Because she's already inside Oh, sorry, we're busy Just wait Hi Hi why do I keep running into you? Do you live around this neighborhood or you live around something? Have you? I guess you're the one who has been following me. Ah, <laughs> that's fine. It's all right. My name is uh, George. George, and I'm Claire. Nice, nice to meet you. And how much is it? Don't worry, I'll take care. There is something strange going on. Going on. Going on. Mm -hmm. Very mysterious, so dangerous. 
going on Feel so real But so unreal It's hard to define But it sends shivers Shivers up your spine It's like a blessing But in fact it's a curse it's a curse because this blessing is by force from a strong force she's the rush of the wind from the sea I came to see a friend and um, I'm waiting for her so we can go to the gym. Oh, okay. Um, do you mind if we hang out? I mean, let's do lunch or dinner. Because the coincidence of always meeting you is beginning to trigger some kind of, you know, interest in me. What do you think? Well, it's not bad, but I don't eat out. Oh, okay. How about my place? I mean, we could do lunch, dinner, 7 p.m. If, you, if you're cool with it. Deal? Deal. I'll see you. I'll see you too. All right. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't take her number. She doesn't know my house. I have to go back. There is something strange going on Very mysterious, so dangerous going on Feels so real, but so unreal It's hard to define but it sends shivers, shivers up your spine oh, It's like a blessing But in fact, it's a curse It's a curse Because this blessing Is by force from a strong force oh, She's the rush of the wind from the sea and her call you must heed to be free she's the rush of the wind from the sea and her call you must heed to be free from her trouble free from her trouble free from her hassle free from her trouble 
where you're from? You're late. I didn't take your number. How did you find my house? I didn't know someone was waiting for me. Hey, hey. <clears throat> One question at a time. Yeah, we didn't exchange numbers. But we have a date, so I had to figure a way out. I, I just assumed that you live around since you, you were seen jogging very early in the morning. And I had to ask questions about a very handsome young man. It wasn't so difficult to find you. Somebody just pointed this house. Oh, I get my knife. No. Funny enough, I think he was asleep or something. He carelessly left the gate open when I came in. How did you get into my house? The door was locked. No. The door was open. I even thought you were back and I let myself in. Is there a problem? There is something strange going on Very mysterious, so dangerous going on There is something strange going on Very mysterious, so dangerous, going on. What have you done? What have you done? How could you? How could you? Hey, but you don't have to leave, it's just water. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Was open in a revelation. I saw the danger before you. Danger? Pastor, what do you mean danger? In this revelation, I saw you walking hand in hand with a man. As if you're about to get married. Oh, God forbid. God forbid, Pastor. Well, I have prayed for you. And I want you to stay close to God and pray always. Okay, Pastor, that's fine. Uh, I've heard all you said. I'll do that. Um, Pastor, I also need you to um, pray for me. I want you to help me thank God for His message upon my life. I just got promoted at my workplace oh. and I was also given a brand new house. Good. I don't know why it happened, but I just want to believe that God is on my side. That is very nice. Praise God. Amen. May our Lord be praised and worship at our time. Amen. Amen. Brother George, Thank you. congratulations. congratulations. There is something strange, strange going on. Going on. But sir, this is a suspension letter. This is coming to you as a result of your nonchalant attitude to work ethics and operating 
policies within this company. How can you say this? I've been of my best conduct. I have worked tirelessly towards upholding the policies of this company in the last five years. I don't understand why this is coming to me now. You may leave, Mr. George. As you can see, I'm very busy. There is something strange going on. Very mysterious, so dangerous going on. Feels so real, but so unreal. It's hard to define. But it sends shivers, shivers up your spine. Oh, it's like a blessing, but in fact, it's a curse. It's a curse because this blessing is by force from a strong force. Oh, she's the rush of the wind from the sea. What are you doing here? The fact that you lost your job does not mean you have to drink yourself to stupor. And who told you I lost my job? Judge. I made you who you are today. Gave you everything. Yet you chose to give my glory to your Lord by listening to your pastor. And what do you mean you made me who I am? <laughs> I know you have a brain and it works perfectly well. Every good thing you have started with me and will end with me. I will not tolerate you giving the glory to whatever you call it. But I'll appreciate next time you say, it is my lady's doing. That would make me happy. Who are you? Something strange going on. Very mysterious, so dangerous going on. Feels so real, but so unreal. So real. She 
says, she says that he are the one. Jake, I always tell you whenever you want to enter the pool, you shouldn't come with your phone. I have to always come with your back. Oh, 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 we have to sorry. Gently. Alright. Here we go. Oh, All right, coach, you're here. In your printout classes, you learn about familiarization with the water, yes. breath control, okay. opening of your eyes under the water, yes. exhaling and inhaling under the water. Yes. But our lesson for today is called kicking drill. What did I call it? Kicking drill. You know, I told you earlier, we have four types of swimming. The freestyle, the backstroke, the breaststroke, and the butterfly stroke. You see, in all in, in all strokes in swimming, we have different types of kicks for it. But the one we are about to learn today is called the flutter kick. What did I call it? The flutter kick. So the kick comes from the limb. You kick the leg alternately. Are you listening? Yes. And I want it to be an underwater kick. Are you listening? Yes. Because when you kick so hard as a beginner, you might be prone to muscle pull. Are you listening? Okay. okay, stretch your hands forward. Fast. Very fast. I want to see the nice one you are doing great. <laughs> nice one, Jeff. Continue. Go. Okay. Look at the glide. Uh, look at the I told you the head is the heavier part of the body. Okay. Always allow your head to align in the water. Close your lap. Are you listening? Yes. So, and your kick should come from the lower leg. Kick the leg alternately, faster. Do you remember the name of this kick? Yes. I told you, what did I call it? Flutter kick. A flutter kick, nice one. Okay, it is more easier for a flat object to move faster in the water than any angle of the Come in. Okay. Come in. You push away from the wall in a streamlined position. Kick the leg alternately. You are still on the kicking drill. Watch me. Go. Move it. My girl, you are doing great. Yeah. Great. Very mysterious. So dangerous. Going on. Feel so real. Sweet, are you tired? I hope you enjoyed the streaming session. I did, but aren't you tired? Tired? No, <laughs> we just got here not quite long. Why tired? And I'm very sure you needed this swimming today, more than anyone else. Hmm, baby, we need to just go home. My eyes are itching me. And we need to discuss something. <sighs> Sweetie, your mood is changing abruptly. I hope you're okay. I mean, is anything the matter? It's nothing, I'm fine. Let's just go home. It's obvious you are at it again. Just to spoil this happy mood. Okay, and who told you we can't just discuss here? See, I cannot pretend I'm happy while you're not. Because I know there's a looming danger around. Looming danger? What kind of looming danger are you talking about? George. Oh, oh George. I, I thought we are done with this George issue. Really? Yes. We can't be over it. Because last night made it three consecutive times I've had horrible dreams about him and his underworld fiancé. You had a dream. What was the dream? And who told you that Claire is uh, George's fiancé? Baby, all I know is all the dreams ended in bad notes. You just need to distance yourself from him, at least for now. Please. Well, come on, sweetheart. I have told you several times uh, to ask for anything else when it comes to George's issue. Okay? Don't confirm this saying that women will always want to separate their husbands from friends. See, I and George have been friends and colleagues for a long time, even before we met and got married. Okay? So, don't worry yourself about it. Even George's pastor have been briefed about Claire's issue, so forget it. Really? Mm -hmm. George pastor? At least he has a pastor. Do you have one? Hmm? I think we are done with this discussion. Come on, let's go. 
but so unreal. It's hey, hard to. The... Can you hear me? Something is happening, and I don't understand. I have just been promoted. I have just been made the general manager of our company. Yes! I have just been made the. Let me call you back. Let me call you back. Hello, this is the new general manager. Woman, who are you? And why do you keep following me around? Why do you know things about me? Too many questions. What we should be bothered about is celebrating you getting your job back and the promotion that came with it. Ah, uh, you see, that's what happens when you let me into your life and when I'm happy with you. Things happen. You get wealth. This is just the beginning. As long as you let me stay in your life, enjoy all the wealth that I have made available for you. That doesn't answer my question. Who are you and what do you want from me? I am the rush of the wind and I have chosen. Something strange. There is something no strange. evil. In the name of Jesus, no weapon fashioned against your son just prosperous. So dangerous. Take control. Go on. Take control. Take control. Brother George, take your car and go home. Pastor, I am a bit confused. Is it by force to love someone? Remember, Brother George, the weapon of our warfare are not carnal. You must take to prayer and fast. This is not a physical battle. I will do my best to join you in prayer. It's okay, Pastor. I heard you. I'll do as you have instructed. I'll try my best as well. Pastor, Pastor, we need to. Don't, 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 don't worry. You take it. Ah. There is no power in this. The power in this has been destroyed by the word of God. There is something strange going on, going on, going on. Mm. Very mysterious, so dangerous, going on. Feels so real, but so unreal. 
it's hard to define but it's since she was so your pastor thinks he can restrict me from entering your car by sprinkling holy water Where was your pastor when I picked you up from the gutter? When your friend abandoned you, took you in, gave you a home, gave you everything that you have, accommodation, education, holiday wherever you wanted until you graduated. And now this, Do you remember Cheesy? I used to know a girl called Cheesy. She was my friend. I totally remember. During my school days, my parents had just died. She was there for me and my sisters. She took care of me. She gave me shelter. We were in love. She helped me a lot. She was the one who helped me, not you. And where is she now? She vanished. She vanished after breaking my heart. And that is why I can't fall in love again. That is why I can't get married. I am cheesy. I am clear. I didn't break your heart. I left because I felt you, you were losing interest in me and I needed to conform to something more appealing to you. I can shape shift. was involved in an accident about an hour ago and he has been admitted in St. Thomas Hospital. Accident? Did you say St. Thomas yes. Hospital? There's something strange going on, going on. Very mysterious, so dangerous, going on. Feels so real, but so unreal. It's hard to define. But it sends shivers, shivers up your spine It's like a blessing But in fact, it's a curse It's a curse Because this blessing Is by force From a strong force She's the rush of the wind from the sea
just saw her walking out of this room right now. Who? The woman! Oh, you mean my... You mean Juliet, my sister? She's my cousin. She brought all this. No! What are you doing? That was not your cousin. That was the evil woman. Yes, she changed into Juliet, your cousin. She just walked out of this room. Just before I swerved up the road, I saw a woman standing in the middle of the road. I swore to avoid hitting her. Brother George, everything in life has its root cause. First, you must find out who she is and why she is after your life. It could be, at least, maybe, evil foundation. It could be your ancestors that is after your life. It could be a family cause. But we must get to the root of this evil. Something strange going on like this. Mm -hmm. It could be very mysterious, so dangerous. Going on, feel so real. This is I'm on my way. Yeah, but I. I can't be coming all the way from the island to the mainland just to play with you or joke with you. Wait. You mean Cheesy has been there for three days? How? Wait. She said she's been doing all that for me just because she thought I was going to marry her? Huh? She gave you 200,000 before she left. Okay. I'll see you shortly. I'm on my way. Yeah. I'll see you shortly. Okay.
There is something strange going on. Very mysterious, so dangerous going on. Feel so real, but so unreal. It's hard to define. But it sends shivers, shivers up your spine. Oh, it's like a blessing, but in fact, it's a curse. It's a curse because this blessing is by force from a strong force. Oh, good afternoon, sir. Come, come with me. We can't talk here. She's the rush of the wind from the sea. And her call you must heed to be free. She's the rush of the wind from the sea. And her call you must heed to be free from her trouble. Free from her trouble. Free from her hassle. Free from her trouble, free from her free trouble, from her hustle. She has come. She must have revealed herself to you. Who are you talking about? The beautiful lady whom I worship. Mama, you call for me. Yes, Mama. You sit down. <clears throat> Adan, my daughter. You know you have been a good daughter in law to me. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. So I want us to discuss something of great importance. Okay. So you take your time and listen very attentively, okay? <laughs> Okay, Mama, what is it about? As you can see, our family is next in line to the throne. And Ben is my only son. So it falls on him. I know. <laughs> One main criteria, however, is an heir. And you don't have a son for him. I need a grandson that will guarantee us of this throne, as well as the continuation of our family name. So what do you suggest we do? Mama, Mama, I, I don't understand what you're, you're talking about. You do, my dear. It's been seven years since you had Fina. Until this time, you have neither had another child nor conceived. My son needs an heir, and I need a grandson. So what do you suggest we do on this issue? Mama, I know Ben needs an heir, and I sincerely wish I could give him one. But I'm not God that gives children. Mama, I'm not God. Mama, I'm not God. What do you expect me to do? What do you want me to do? Well, the reason I call for this discussion is to let you know that I want my son, Ben, to take another wife. What? <laughs> Mama, I will just pretend that I didn't hear what you just said. You heard me. You heard me right. I have nothing against you. But as you can see, you have not indicated any sign that a child might be on the way. I'm a very practical person. And I need to look for the solution before things get out of hand. <laughs> this is not a matter of crying. I want the best for my son, and I will not stand here and watch him waste his time in the name of love and patience. I will not. Mama, Mama, I can't believe you're saying this to me. Mama, I can't believe you're saying this to me, Mama. Mama, which woman on earth will accept such an offer? Eh? 
Not mama, have I ever wronged you? But mama, did I do anything to deserve such a treatment, mama? Why are you doing this to me, mama? Adana, let it not be as if I'm wicked to you. I am not. <laughs> I can see that you can't bear children from my son anymore. And who says I can't bear children? Mama, the fact that I don't have another child after Frida does not mean I cannot bear children. Mama, I still... I can't bear children, Mama. I can't. Mama, this is heartless. Heartless? <laughs> How can you explain the fact? That since you had Fila, you have neither conceived nor had a child. Seven years, Adana. Even elephants have better pregnancy cycle than you. Look, Adana, you have to accept it. Yes, I will tell my son to send you back to your parents. <laughs> yes. Yes. This is not a matter of crying. <laughs> Just think about it. Put yourself in my shoes. Ask yourself a question. Who is unfair here to each other? I told you. I'm finished. How can you say such a thing? My what world happened? has come to an end, brother. What happened? <laughs> my mother-in-law came to the house yesterday. And she said she wants my husband to take another wife just because I cannot bear him no son. <laughs> Why should she say such a thing? Brother, I don't know. This woman has been giving me trouble for a while now. But I tell you that, that this is the main reason I have not been going to the village. Eh? Brother, what do I do? Eh? Brother, what do I do? Uh, what did your husband say? Nothing. When he returned yesterday, I overheard her saying the same thing to, to him. And he just sat there like he was contemplating the idea. I mean, br brother, what if he obeys her? Eh, hey, brother? Listen, I will suggest you stop worrying. Okay? Your husband's silence might not be because he's in agreement with what the mother is saying. But so. maybe he's out of respect for her. So I would like you to go home, talk things over with him, and, uh, you know, before you draw any conclusion. Brother. My fear is that she has an influence over him. You know, I mean, Adana. I don't know why. I just, oh God. Adana, pull yourself together. <laughs> hmm? oh, uh, this your worries, uh, well, it's not called for, okay? Just talk things over with him first, okay? <sighs> So, brother, there's nothing you can do to help me. No, there's nothing I can do because your husband has not said anything yet. <laughs> Go back home. Discuss these things with him. And when you have heard what he has to say, oh, then you can come back to me. Okay? Then I'll know what to do. Okay? Um, <clears throat> my love. My sister Adana here came to my house about a week ago complaining that your mother was kind of uh, directing you towards uh, getting a new wife. Well, I hoped it was just one of those uh, things. But uh, your recent uh, action, your recent attitude towards her seem to be saying the opposite, that you are now in, in co cohesion with your mother. 
Maybe you want to marry another wife. So I have come to find out what is happening. <coughs> Chukuka, mm -hmm. your sister here needs your help. I had wanted to call you earlier, but work has not really allowed me. Adana here is paranoid. I mean, I see no reason why she suspects anything I do. Granted, my mother suggested that I go marry another wife, but I refused. And ever since then, every attempt or every move I make is, is towards the direction of me taking another wife. I don't know. Is that true? Brother, I'm not paranoid. I'm not paranoid. My husband here comes late these days. And when I ask him, he will say I'm being paranoid. Okay, brother. Ask him if I've ever acted strange like he claims anytime he, he comes home early. Ask him. Look, she suspects every move I make. I mean, the house is no longer comfortable and I'd rather stay up late with my friends. I mean, I cannot live in my own house like some suspect under some crime under surveillance. I don't know. I know you too well to know that what your husband is saying is the truth. Uh, well, a man likes to come back to a loving and a comfortable home. No, just give him the freedom of coming back to a loving wife rather than to a jealous and uh, suspicious wife, okay? Uh, nobody likes that kind of a home, okay? And you, my brother-in-law, please go back to your old ways. And uh, don't give my sister room to be worried. Okay? Well said, brother. Thank you immensely for coming. I must really commend your efforts. Thank you. Uh, forgive my bad manners. Um, what do I offer you? Well, um... There's something strange going on, going on. Very mysterious, so dangerous. Going on. Thank you. I want you to meet your mates. She's going to live with you from now on. What? You heard me. Mama, what sort of nonsense is this? She make me. What, what was all this? Hey, Mama! Did my husband tell you he wants a new wife? Adana, you're talking to me like this. Yes, Mama, I'm talking to you. She make me. Since you don't deserve my respect, Mama, I won't give it to you. Eh? I, I won't give it to you. What nonsense? Hey! hey, hey, hey. What nonsense is this? Hey! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ta! Ah! Uh -uh. Why are you insulting Mama like this? Well. Eh? It's your ball, eh? Eh? You're insulting her. For what? If you dare insult mama like that, I will teach you the lesson of your life. <laughs> Ibonye! Ibonye! Who is that? Ibonye, Ibonye, you are insulting me, mama like that. Are you crazy? <laughs> See this stupid village thing. <laughs> you want to teach me a lesson in my own house? Look, 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 I don't even have anything to say to you. You're too naive and dark for my response. Eh? Mama! Naive! Naive! Naive!